as usual, I am Francisco Poleco. We're now on our third or fourth weekly episode. It's Ating Blog. And uh, like I said, nag-iimita ako sa inyo. Those of you who want to join us, join us here. And today we have our first mentee, si Maricel, right? Miracle. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> okay. Hi, Introduce everyone. yourself, yeah. Oh. Hi, everyone. I'm Miracle Ansang, 23 years old. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, I really wanted to ask you this since uh, it's my second job already. Second job, mo? Yes, yeah, sir. And, uh, wala how, pa old po kasi akong how old were you? When 20. You took when you took your first job? Uh, my first job was uh, ano po, right after I graduated. So, so that's 20. Three one. years ago? Two years ago? Two, two years ago, yes. Okay. So and uh, during my first job, po, I don't have savings. Po, and I made a lot of uh, wrong financial ano po, decisions. Well, you enjoyed your life? Yes, yes, sir. So, so lahat ng kita mo, enjoy ka? Mm -hmm. YOLO, sir. As YOLO. The millennials so, would say. Opo. And then, so, wala uh, kang savings? Wala, sir. So, yun po sana, wala. sir. Wala. Like zero? Zero, sir. Oh, anong? Wala kang kapera-pera? No, wala kang bank account? Meron naman siguro. Wala kang bank account? Pa, paano mo tinatanggap yung sweldo mo, no? Saan mo nilalagay? We have, ano po, debit card. From, debit card? From the office. Uh, yun ang, yun ang... Okay. Pero right now, sir, wala kang... Ako, I cannot imagine yung situation. Ang trabaho ko, yung pera ko nasa debit card lang. Kasi nung panahon ko nun, ang kumpanya nilalagay sa bank account ko, mandatory ako magbukas. Hindi ginawa sa inyo yun. Wala kang binukas na bank account. Wala. So wala ka. Wala kang savings ako nun. Wala kang zero, check. Zero, zero. Alam mo sir, mga concept at yun. Kasi importante yun yung meron kang identity sa sarili mo. Ano yung ident? May preba ka na ikaw tao na kumikita at mayroong pera ka na sa pangalan mo. Hindi nakikita sa debit card yun. Nakikita yun sa savings account na mayroong institusyon na nagsasabi, si Miracle ay isang legitimate na tao na kumikita ng pera. Number one yun. Dapat mayroong kang account. Kasi nag establish siya ng iyong kapatotoo na ikaw ay isang legitimate tao ha? na kumikita ng maayos. So, wala ka noon. So, anong, anong gusto mo mangyari ngayon? Anong gusto mo i-consulta? Sir, I wanted to ask po, since uh, it's uh, already my second job, and I wanted to make this uh, make it right this time. Okay. So, what would uh, your advice be for me, sir? Very simple. Like I said, the first thing is to establish your presence in this world. That you are miracle, lan that miracle Lansang is an individual who is earning and has a life of her own. You want looking forward to something. So the first thing is to establish your presence. You move into a territory, this is my state. And all of you in this world, listen to me. I am alive. I have this evidence. Moving forward, one reminder before we do any of this te technology on savings, and realize this mindset or keep this mindset. The millennials today, compared to us uh, during our time, don't tinuro sa amin, Pakabuti ka, mag-aral ka, magtrabaho ka, magnegosyo ka, and plan for your future. The future before was retire at 50, at 60. Yun ang dating. Kaya kita mo, retirement age ng gobyerno, 55. Today, retirement age is 70. When you grow up, when you reach 70, retirement age will be 80. Why? Technology is exponential. Medicine is improving. So, yung iniisip natin dati is no longer applicable to you. 
And yet, ang kabaligtaran, ang pagkaintindi ko, millennials live in YOLO, ha? but you only live once. But you only live once for 100 years. Hindi only live once kami for 50 years. Walang mag employ sa iyo when you're 60. Kasi dumarap, madami ka rin kalaban eh. So, ngayon pa lang, you have to plan because you will live longer. The good news is, if you live longer, you have more time. If you have more time, you have more capacity to compound your wealth. Yun ang sinasabi natin all the time. Save a little, but save regularly. So you have the best opportunity. You will have more, the longest time compared to us, and you will have the best opportunity compared to us. Because ngayon, nandyan ang collective investing. You don't have to start up your own business. And you want to, of course. But you can go less risk, earn, put aside a small, modest amount, but longer time. At walang tigil. Walang tigil. Kung kumikita ka 10%, 20%, wag mong gastusin. O umpisa ka, mag-umpisa ka, pero baka mabigla ka sa 20%. 10% lang. Or 5%. Itabi mo, doon sa sinasabi natin dito, sa KSK, sa Colico Foundation, Collective Investing, doon ka muna mag-umpisa. Yun ang iyong foundation. Siyempre, ngayon magkakaroon ka ng opportunity. Pwede kang bumakas sa mas magagandang higher risk. Like sideline ng negosyo, trading, or whatever, yun pan, pan jackpot. Pero yung 10% mo, pang assure ng lifestyle mo, up to the time you retire. You get it? Yes, yan sir, muna yes, tayo. Sir. Uh, sir, I have another question po. Uh, uh, there is this trait po kasi, aside from hashtag YOLO, uh, uh, meron din po kaming tinatawag na, na FOMO, sir. Or uh, fear it of... Means Fear of missing out. So what would be your advice, sir, na to resist the temptation No to basis spend? for FOMO. No Even basis. in investing, no basis for FOMO. Even in looking for opportunity, no, because there will always be new opportunities. Na miss, na miss out ko yung Apple, eh, nandiyan ang Amazon, no? nandiyan yung bago ngayon. No? O na miss out ko yung yung Telco investment ko, oh, may 5G ngayon. No? There's always something new in life, especially today. And growth of technology, growth of opportunity is exponential. Exponential. Yung dating magkakasakit, wala nang sakit. Because new drugs have come in. In the next 10 years, five to ten years, mas madaming discoveries na dadating sa atin compared to the last 100 years na nag-develop ang technology. Pagdating lang ng 5G technology, my goodness, mababaliwala na ang mga taxi at ang mga car ownership, at least in the develop. Ang dami-daming development. That's another topic. Ang punto ko lang, FOMO, burahin mo. Burahin mo sa isip. Huwag kang magmamadali. Kailangan intindihin mo yung FO mo, kalukohan yun. Yung nag-gaganon, yun yung nag-aalok. Nagbibenta sa'yo. Wow, ako na, bukas wala na to. Tataas na yan. Forget it. Eh. Okay lang. There's always another opportunity. You will never miss out. That's a fact. Take it from me, take it from reality. That is a fact. Kasi ganun din ako dati. I realized, mali ako. So, pag-isipan mo ngayon, if you accept my advice na mag-umpisa ka na ng set aside, mag-drawing ka ng sarili mo. You're starting from wrong. Ang ganda nga sa'yo, ang bilis mo mag-start up eh. Ang balance sheet mo, zero eh. Zero asset, <laughs> zero liability, clean slate. Doon ka mag-umpisa. And now you know where you're going. Isa ka, 1,000 a month, 500, well, whatever you can afford. Bakas mo, pasok mo dun sa collective investing. Mag-grow siya ng 5-10% a year. 
dagdag ka ng dagdag. When you can afford more, dagdagan mo na. At the same time... Ano mo, sir, kung kaya ngayon 1,000 ka ba? Kasi yung, marami makaka-relate. Yung kaya mo ngayon, I don't know how much you're making. Kaya mo ba ng 1,000 naman? Kasi yung minimum wage, kaya niya yung 1,000 naman. Wala kang pamilya. 20% pa nga kaya mo. Kung ako, 20%. Why? Maumpisaan yung disiplina. Yung 20% mo. Parang ako kumikita ka ng 10,000. Parang ang kinikita mo sa isip mo, 8 lang. Kasi yung 2, tinanggal mo na. Kumikita ka ng 100,000, yung 20, tinanggal mo na. Ganun ka mag-umpisa. Saan mo lalagay? Mag-consulta ka. We have, we have opportunities for you. This is not the time to do it. Pero merong mga ganun opportunities. 10%, 8-10% a year, kayang-kaya niya. Ngayon, after that, i-drawing mo na yung buhay mo. 10 years from now. You have to imagine clearly in your mind what you will be 10 years from now. Sabi ni Lord Buddha, huh? Law of what happens outside must first happen inside. Dapat na isip mo. Ganito na isip ko. Meron na akong pag pamilya o meron akong pag down payment sa apartment ko o whatever. O naman, o mag-aaral ako sa abroad. Planuhin mo. It will happen. Yun, yun ang simple advice ko. Then again, ang assignment sa'yo, saan ka pa gumagastos araw-araw? Where do you spend your money? Uh, <laughs> araw -araw. Sir, uh, it's ano po, may subscriptions po to Netflix, to Spotify. Hindi mo araw -araw, one time lang yung uh, yeah, monthly. Yun, eh. And then, uh, yung weekly naman po would be the ano, weekly shopping po with family. Eating ka. out, yes po. Mauling ka, eating mm -hmm. out ka. Yung ano po, nauso po milk tea and some youth every week. Healthy ba yun? <laughs> Isipin mo maigi. Uh, hindi ko sinasabi ko huwag mong gastos eh. Ang sinasabi ko lang, ilista mo. Para alam mo, baka sumusobra ka sa muling, napapagastos ka. No, at the expense of other things na mas kailangan mo, baka mas gusto mo meron kang super, super na laptop na magagawa mo na but you cannot afford it dahil ginagastos mo sa milk tea, ginagastos mo sa, sa soft drinks, baka nagsisigarilyo ka, I don't know. Yung ganun. What I'm saying is, assignment mo muna this coming month, lista mo yung pang araw-araw na ginagastos mo. Magkaroon ka lang ng idea dahil a lot of people gagastos, hindi alam eh. Then, marirealize, naku, ang dami ko palang ginagastos na hindi naman pala kailangan. Yun muna, assignment. Of course, huwag mong kakalimutan, first thing to do, Open a bank account. Establish your presence in this world, financially at least. Okay, sir. That's the way to do it. Obligation yan, hindi option. Obligation. So, here we are. We have a new millennial. Ako nagulad din ako. Ganun pala attitude ng mga millennial. But drop it again. Don't, don't forget to subscribe. Press that button here. And join even kung meron kayong very specific concern. Join us. Write us. We'll be very happy to learn from you, and hopefully you'll learn from us. Bye. See you again.